we're headed to a small town between the Great Smoky Mountains and the Blue Mountains, Waynesville, North Carolina. Tell me about this silo. <laughs> Our house was built in 1974. It was a contractor, and he had access to random materials, one of the materials being this airplane hangar metal roof. Oh, OK. So we kind of started with that and then figured everything else out. Did he figure it out, though? No. Absolutely not. <laughs> no. Our house looks like a sardine can. We bought the house six years ago. Once we saw the big deck on the front, and I saw kind of the height, and that was a really weird house, I was like, OK, we're going to buy this house. And that was it. We saw potential that we thought we could bring out of it, but it never actually happened. Let's go outside and see what's up. All right. Sounds good. <laughs> OK, so we've got a few things going on here. Some office building drop ceiling, a rock wall, and some dark green cinder block. It um, holds moisture. It does is, hold moisture. Oh, that's a, that's a, a bit of a problem. <laughs> that stress, the idea of that just stressed me out <laughs> big time. Was the drop ceiling in here? Yeah. We'd love to see the drop ceiling. Oh, go. that would be lovely. Not only because it's ugly and heinous, but it was maybe a year after we moved in here. We saw something come out through one of the little cracks. No, it's that one that I put the spray foam in. Little, little teeny tiny <laughs> snake, not a big one, but just little teeny so tiny snake. Coming no big out of the ceiling. <laughs> Kara, I'd have moved. <laughs> We'd have been packing this place up. <laughs> there would have been no time for phones. <laughs> Holy cow, OK. Well, what else you got to show me? We Let's... should go upstairs. How old are the stairs <laughs> that I have to walk up? 47 years. <laughs> they're very they're soft. They're sturdy. OK. They're, You're they're, good. They're very, very You soft. say so. Let's go to the main living room. Yeah. Couple things. <laughs> what is this? That's sprayed on insulation. This makes me nervous. It looks like algae. <laughs> this would make me batty. It just looks like one big sheet of dirt. When it's the winter, it's really cold. And when it's summer, it's really, really hot. It's also yes. impossible to clean. Yeah. <laughs> You've tried? Well, I just pick up the pieces as they fall. <laughs> oh, look, here's a piece. Yeah, there it is. Look, a perfect sample. It does flake off from time uh, to time. Yeah. 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 It's not the... <laughs> I know. I'm going to need a minute. I mean, the exterior alone looks like a hobbit's house. Functionality-wise, it's too hot to stay upstairs. And then you go downstairs, and you got to move appliances to open drawers. It's ridiculous. My biggest surprise, the falling ceiling. When the ceiling is falling, you either fix it or you leave. We are headed to Soddy Daisy, Tennessee, where my next horrendous home awaits me. This is the main living area. The devil's confetti. I don't know how one gets glitter out of the ceiling. I don't know how one gets glitter on the ceiling, on every inch of the ceiling. It is something. It is everywhere. My name is Emily Eustace. I'm 23 years old, and I teach elementary school. My dad ended up buying this house as a gift for me. When I first saw the house, I thought that it had really good bones. It looks on the outside like a typical home. And then you walk in, and the house is disgusting. Lots of questions involved. You've got the glitter, the mirrored walls, this festive light fixture. I feel like this was a party spot because they spilled a few things on the floor. My lease is still not up at my apartment, so I'm still kind of staying there. It needs some more <laughs> love before I'm willing to sleep here every right. night. Yes. And then there's cameras, like, oh. everywhere. They're kind of obtrusive, but... Yeah, they're not hidden. This is the stuff of nightmares. Yeah. What else is happening in here? Well, we can go into the kitchen. Whoa, this is a giant 
Hermes kitchen. Yes. Whoever was in here was like, let's make it flashy. <laughs> Is there a separate dining space, or is this it? This is it. It's all in one. Huh. Does the speaker system work? We can play music from the bathroom through the whole house. So, uh, it's based in the bathroom? Yes. Weird. OK. <laughs> OK, there's a lock on the outside. Yes. This is one of the guest rooms. <laughs> <laughs> OK. Purple and mirrors. And then the panic button. Seriously, what was happening in this house? There's locks on the inside and the outside the inside, of each door. Yeah. There's a lot of questions. There's a lock <laughs> on the inside and outside of every door. Oh, yeah. yeah. Here is the main bedroom. Oh my god, I can see the pathway. The bed is on a pedestal. Of course it is. Oh, is that? That's a, that's a hot jacuzzi. <laughs> This is the honeymoon suite. Another camera. Yeah. Emily. I don't have the full story. You know you live in a buddy ranch, right? Yeah. I'm just letting you know. This is bananas. Next up, Music City. Nashville, I hear you've got an ugly house worthy of being the subject of a country song. There's a pit happening. Mm -hmm. There's a pit that one might fall in. What's that about? Um, well, it's just, a, I guess, a planter. Oh, yeah. We tried to cover it up with a hall tree. Right now, it looks like a pit. Yeah. <laughs> like, Very there's, much a, so. there's a pit that one might fall in. They covered it with a bench. <laughs> they have a three-year-old that could disappear in the foyer. Well, we'd love to show you some more if you want to head on down. Sure. Down the steps, got it. What is it about these older homes and wood paneling? OK. This is our whole downstairs area, I guess okay. you can say. It's yeah. one floor, but it has different levels. If there's ever been a sunken living room, <laughs> the whole space here is sunken. This is a big room. <laughs> this used to be the outside of the house. That's why there's brick mm -hmm. here. There's exterior lighting. Are you laughing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm laughing that it's partially spray painted. Yeah. Um, also, oh, in this painting. room, you're going to see the windows behind right. us. Right. And another one straight forward. And that is your bedroom. It is. That dresser <laughs> and TV are your wall. Yes, they <laughs> are, unfortunately. All right, and I see that the kitchen is right here. Yes. Yes. Come on in. So when we moved in, we said, oh, this cutting board must be for us. <laughs> Let's move it out the way. <gasps> what is happening? The house was already purchased, and this was found. So there's a hole. I can't get over the fact that there's a hole in the countertop, and they were like, check this, cutting board. <laughs> They're like, fix it. Uh, let's go check out the bathroom. OK. Oh. Hello, Lavender. Oh, my god. The toilet is purple, too. And the shower is sunken. Yes. Yes. yes that is. scares me. It scares yeah. us, too, being wet. To have to step down into the shower. I would break my back. Welcome to our upstairs family area. So behind us is the exterior window. Yep. Uh-huh. Into the other family living mm -hmm. area. The lower level. Mm -hmm. We cannot continue to live like this, all right? <laughs> Are we inside the house? Are we outside? I want us to figure that out. We're sick of hiding and putting stuff over holes. Enough of that. Appearance-wise, it looks like a drive through ATM from the outside. Function-wise, you've got to step down into everything. It is the most dangerous shower situation I've ever seen. And the surprise, the inside looks like what the outside should look like. Hey, Retta. 
Welcome back. Do you mind if we go to the sunroom? Yes. <laughs> it um... creeps me out the least. You are the ugliest house in the Southeast. Oh, wow. You are now in the finals. Oh, yeah. Go. Yes. You're that much closer to burning it all down. <laughs> Starting anew. <laughs>